It's a daily talk show episode 275. Monday. It's happening. It's um it's nice. Uh, it, this feels nice after a couple of days off. The weekend also known as. Yeah. No, I had a good weekend. I actually realized that I hadn't opened my computer the whole entire weekend because I opened it this morning and it was dead. So it just drained battery. What what's the deal with your um charger situation? Oh, I've only got one charger. So we, Amy and I both have MacBook Pros. My charger died, mm-hmm. and so we've only got one. What do you mean? What's the deal? Is that uh, what you meant? Yeah. Well, it's just it feels like there's always some form of panic in regards to the charge <laughs> of your laptop, and for it to happen on a Monday. Well, I just hadn't opened it, so I mm-hmm. thought it was actually a, an achievement mm-hmm. having a dead laptop by Monday. It's, it's not the. I was going to say it's like having a being a one car family, which Bree and I are. Because <laughs> yeah. you know what, it's like being a two car family with one car park. <laughs> no, that is true. How about when you're a one charge traveling couple? Yeah, That's a nightmare. It's outrageous. When Bree and I went away for four months, mm. Bree didn't bring a laptop. Oh, so that's laptop, good. no, but that's laptop a, time was always hard because she wanted your laptop mm. for her time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is hard. We did the same thing when we traveled to Europe. I, I, we didn't go for as long, mm. but that's a good thing not to have a laptop. I also ran into the issue of having my AirPods uh, die when I was about to do a workout yesterday. <laughs> that happened to me as well on Saturday. What you were about to do a workout? Or no, they I was just doing died? my. I was doing the walk <laughs> to pick Bree up from the gym. Yeah. And I started walking and I was put my AirPods in. I'm like, yeah. oh, I played. It's always the embarrassing thing because I listen to interesting music on Spotify and I press play just assuming uh, that it's all on and it goes out. It starts yelling. Speaker and I've yeah. got to quickly turn it off. There's nothing worse when you've actually thought, I, yeah, I can't wait to listen to this or mm-hmm. I've got this podcast and then you get to the gym and it just, it's dead. So I charged them up and yesterday I went for a walk to get some shopping like last night about eight o'clock. And the first time, like, I thought AirPods, really cool. Can, mate, mate Stock, are they over there, Mr. 97, they my sort AirPods? Of, they sort of look like... Um, yeah, can you chuck them to me? Floss. Yeah, I was convinced they were a floss container. Can we see who's a cleaner? I mean, you, you've had yours for... As in the actual... No, the actual case. Because the case gets quite dirty. Really? I've open dropped it, mine. So it's open, open up. The, oh, the inside, so they, like, they sort of look like floss type thing. Yeah. So mine's... I actually cleaned mine with the Q-tip... Recently, so you were trying to win based on the fact that you'd just done it. Exactly. Far out. The kind of so, guy I am. Yeah, I mean, right now they're just a little white floss container, but you've got to charge them. There's nothing new here about I, uh, AirPods, but I was pumped and stoked when I got given these mm-hmm. by Conspiracy Jimmy. Mm-hmm. But And also you, you gave me a voucher for them. So I had two pairs essentially. You mm-hmm. sent yours back. It was, yeah, it worked it was out worth well. it. Anyway, last night, first experience. Like at the start, I was like, oh. First experience for what? You've had these AirPods. Am I self-conscious for wearing these? Do I look like a bit of a wanker? And then I was like, no, these are actually cool. At the shops? And so I'm walking and walking through St Kilda and there's a, I'm walking past a bar and I see this this girl looking at me. I've She's missed like, one bit though. What What is it the first time for? First time... I was. I, this is where you're going to let me finish the story. I was feeling insecure about. So the. F- I can't even remember what I was saying about the first time. You said this is my first time. I got my AirPods in. Yeah, because I hadn't finished. Got to the bit of okay. the first time. Okay. So the first time happened. <laughs> you just let me tell the story. First time I'm walking and this girl's looking at me mm-hmm. and I was trolled, or I think uh, okay. I was trolled because sure. she's like talking and laughing, looking at me, and I was like listening to what I was listening to, mm-hmm. and then. I just sort of engaged with her because she was talking about me, obviously. And then she says, oh, great AirPods. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> it's like just that was a troll, was it? Yeah, but she was obviously saying something before that I didn't hear. Mm-hmm. She was either saying, oh, look at this fucking wanker or look at these AirPods. She was not from this country. She was a backpacker. Oh, she probably really liked the AirPods. <laughs> so it wasn't a troll? What do you no, reckon? I don't think so. When I was in the States, everyone had AirPods and I'm sure yeah. I was saying to my mate, hey, look at all these people with AirPods. But I was genuinely interested in the fact. So you think they're still novel enough? That Potentially. Yeah. yeah in the right, in the right uh, neighbourhood, you well, can still impress people with AirPods. I guess they're not the uh, Bluetooth... Headpiece look like that makes you look like you're working in a uh, uh, you know call center. Yeah. Did you ever have one of those? Uh, did I ever have Bluetooth headphones? 
Nah. No, no not, not headphones, headsets. headsets. So it's not even nah. – you don't even get both ears. You just get one nah. and it's a little – what are they called like a, a people were calling them like a wanker piece or yeah well it was like the, there was a, a popular brand called Jawbone Jawbone and the reason they were called Jawbone was it used it used your the vibration in your jaw no. to determine a lot of the headphones have this technology now um, for noise cancellation so when it when you talk mm. it can pick up okay this is your voice. And so it will cancel out all of the truck sounds going past. But the the problem I have with the AirPods is the when truck trucks go past or when it's windy, yeah. they become useless. Oh, the amount of times I've said to you, mate, take me off fucking AirPods yeah. because of the wind. It's horrible. It's um, they're releasing new ones this year though. I did a big, I went down an Apple rabbit hole over the weekend. Yeah, mainly because I dropped my laptop. On tiles, and so I was like, "Okay, he's bent it. He's I've basically bent his seven thousand dollar laptop. Yeah, it was six. It's, but it's <laughs> annoying. Now worth two. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to work it. It's not at the point for like to, for an insurance claim. Well, well, insurance wouldn't even cover it because it's just aesthetic damage. You've you've done the. You wouldn't do the full compo claim because it's too expensive. I've never done the whole – well, I don't think it would be. Well, well, the claim would be like – Well, you'd be, be claiming though. It'd be like getting a few scratches but you want them fixed and it would cost way too much. You may as well just ah, put it sure. through insurance. Mm-hmm. But still, it's it's fucking annoying. Yeah. It's so annoying. So that, that was frustrating. <laughs> but I did go down the rabbit hole of looking at what Apple was releasing soon. What are they releasing? Uh, new AirPods will come soon. Yeah. Uh, new – they're going to do over-ear headphones as like, well. Like Beats by Dre, yeah. like what well, you're they wearing bought, right now. They bought Beats. Did they? Oh, yeah, that's right. A long yeah. time ago. Yeah. And so they, it looks like they're go- going to do that. But apparently what everyone's been talking about at the moment is Microsoft mm. have new over-ear headphones mm. that sort of look like the Quiet Comfort uh, QC35s. Mm. You know, the um, the ones that I've got, the Bose oh, yeah, yeah. headphones. They're big. Oh, oh, no, those ones right there. They're yeah. slick. The problem with – I caught up with a mate yesterday for coffee and he rocks up. 35 degrees and he's wearing over over ear headphones no, over head, whatever they're called yeah, and he's 35 like 35 degrees celsius it's gross he's like dude this is too hot to wear these things yeah. and i see people at the gym wearing them it's pretty full on yeah you're sweating all over them it, it's you get gross. drenched it is a bit gross. celsius or centigrade what's the difference i would have no no idea would you celsius. say celsius it's or celsius. centigrade i wonder it's what we, we hey siri what is centigrade Degrees, degrees Celsius. Celsius. I think it's just another way of saying cent, uh, centigrade is just another way of saying Celsius. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, but 35 degrees Celsius. Celsius is, is very, super very hot. hot. What is that, 100? Over 100? Yeah, I think Fahrenheit? so. Fahrenheit? Uh, we can ask. Um, <laughs> how many Fahrenheit in 35 degrees Celsius? That's clunky. <laughs> 95, 95 degrees yeah, Fahrenheit. Yeah. I'm going to give uh, Siri a big tick there. It works of the well. gronk she was dealing with in no, that but, moment. But the thing is sometimes you have to speak like that to make it work. <laughs> yeah, you have to go real slow. I'm wearing my gronk t-shirt. I've got a guy who's just done some severe gronkness and you've almost you've been involved in this gronkness. Actually, no, you weren't the gronk. You've been involved in the, the interaction with the gronk. So <laughs> I've got a Instagram conversation like mm-hmm. an input like a dm conversation yeah that you initiated with an account called the ground up show mm-hmm. so it's a well they were following us i think and um uh it's matt davella's podcast yeah. the ground up show and so i saw i look at my act i'm one of the few people who Look at the activities on Instagram. It's also probably one of the reasons you're off Instagram from mm. a personal level. Because I look at what people are liking. I'm like, oh, who are people engaging with? Yeah, and what does that mean? And why are they liking mine? Like, I think I see it as but just it, yeah, it's yeah. a slope that you yeah. just it should be banned. That fucking activities function. Well, it's, it's just like who's awake? What's everyone doing? Geez, they spend a lot of time yeah. on social media. Look at what time they like that. Like, it's it's dangerous. But what's it's actually, dangerous about it? It's dangerous, I think, for just your head. Like I think, I think it's why you're off. Yeah. Did you? There's there's an issue with um, the WhatsApp thing. There was a lady who caught her husband out, or the husband caught the wife out on cheating because he would say, "Oh, I'm going to bed" or whatever. Uh, like they had a long distance relationship, but you'd see on the WhatsApp yeah. that it was saying like he was 
Oh, you're active, active at yeah. 3 a.m. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it's either... Yeah, I, I have... It. See, this is the thing. I, I just... I don't go there because I know that I start trying to make up stories mm, for people. But I love doing that. Yeah, I, I know, but it's, it's not the most productive. Yeah, no, sure. it's not. I as, get it. As much so, as I sometimes spur you on to, what is this guy? What's his background? But so I, I saw that the Ground Up show had followed Matt Diavella, yeah. the host. I was like, oh, Diavella's doing some work on it. I was like, hang on, LA, what's the time in LA? I'm like 1.30 yeah. in the morning. And so I messaged, I DM'd the yeah. ground up show. Yeah. And you said, go to bed, bro. And um, yeah, it was 1.22 a.m., which you pointed out. And uh, anyway, nothing. You get no response. Mm. I saw that and I was like, fucking Diavella, you could at least respond to your boy. And you did. You got a response, but it only came through yesterday. Mm-hmm. And so it was it like two or three days later. Yeah, and it came through at 3.35 a.m. So, I mean, we're in Australia, so maybe it was plausible that it was Matt, you know, at a reasonable time in yeah. L.A. It said, hi, guys, I'm trying to get in contact with Matt to sell this account slash username to him for his podcast channel. Can you let him know? Thanks, Jerome. And yeah. I got this yesterday. You were off doing a 21 kilometre walk. Mm-hmm. Completed it. It was 40 degrees yesterday. You were was outrageous. Was it was it? high 30s in the morning. You're were, you were a madman. Up you at 5.40 in the morning to do that. <laughs> so I thought, okay, it's not Matt. This is why he didn't respond to Josh's mm-hmm. you know, message. And I thought, okay, initially I was just going to tell him to get fucked. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, okay, maybe I just sort of go down a bit of a rabbit hole here. Have a bit of fun. Shits and giggles. I said, hi, Jerome. Why don't you just be a good bloke and give it to him? I'm sure Matt would really appreciate that. Oh, and by the way, selling usernames is actually against Instagram's terms and conditions. So at that point, I wasn't really – I was thinking, oh, I'm curious to understand more about what he's doing. But mm-hmm. I, I was like, I'm just going to front foot it like that. Mm-hmm. But then I followed up with, but out of curiosity, how much are you asking? Might buy it for him for his birthday. <laughs> 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 and so he wrote one second and he got back to me with a figure. Yeah. <laughs> have a guess. Mr. 97, have a guess how much he's selling. Get on the mic, uh, Instagram handle and a Twitter handle. Oh, so it's two things. Yeah, he actually has both. It's the ground up show. Yeah, the ground up show, which is like someone having the daily talk show. But we have that. But we've got that. So, Jerome? Yeah, well, so what do you think? Uh, spit it out. I reckon I reckon over $1,000. Okay. You've gone high. Jerome's actually, I mean, this is a bargain if you're going to buy it. 260 bucks for the Instagram username and the Twitter handle together. That's what great. What do you think? I wrote, how did you come up with that? Yeah. And he said, normally I charge 500, but I did 50% off because I'm a fan of Matt and it's a birthday present. <laughs> so this is someone who, this is where the, the Gronk level gets up above 100% because yeah. it's, it's, he's a fan of Matt and his work, supposedly. Well, I think where he went wrong or where I think it is inappropriate is yeah. he's used... Diavella's artwork, the ground up show artwork yeah. on the Instagram account. So if you want to like sit on some, a username, mm. whatever, you could be using it for your own thing. But if you're actually using the artwork of someone else's, you're just trying to deceive at that point. Yeah, he's 100%. This is a, this is a con job. I said, do you take cash? He said, no. I said, could I get a taxi invoice? Still fucking with him. He says, is PayPal okay? And then I said, why not... Um, I said, what do you do f- as your main job? I started going yeah. personal with uh-huh. him. And he says he's a website designer. Mm-hmm. And then I said, awesome, I've got lots of mates looking for website builders. Well, Shoot me really, a site. This and is I'll what pass, happens when I on. go for a walk. Yeah, exactly. And um, basically he's saying, because I was just trying to get his contact detail, and he mm-hmm. said, w- can we arrange everything first? And I said, I'm just worried that I'm getting scammed. It would give me a great confidence to send the cash if I could see your website work. Anyway, he... he um, he did say he'll send it to me, but he said send ten dollars first. So I don't know if he's. It's being a low level scam. Well, it's not a scam. It's literally just a gronk. I mean, he's he's saying that he'll give me the. Uh, I think he logins would. Yeah. If I send him the ten dollars first to build the trust. Anyway, he's he's now he sent me the um the PayPal details the PayPal Gmail which we can then hunt down. 
Mm. Mr. 97 might be able to find out who it is. But you can't – it's actually illegal to sell usernames well, just and handles. Terms. Well, yeah. it's against their terms because they don't want people doing this. Yeah. Domain names is a different thing. Yeah. If, if you had a domain name, you can sell ownership of it. Mm. But, yeah, I, I mean, there's a reason Matt doesn't have it. It, this yeah, is well, I, I don't think, think that he would even care. I don't think he would care to have it. Well, when yeah. I saw that it came up, I was like, oh, this is a different move for Diavella. Like he's almost moving away from Instagram in some regards. Well, yeah, he doesn't post a great deal. Yeah. And then someone's got their other crown. This is where I think people – I was talking to a friend who owns a business and he's hell-bent on getting this new username, mm-hmm. which is – it's the name of his business, but he'd already built a following – yeah. On a different name, but he was very much holding, uh, holding the thought that no, I need this because it's going to help this. Man, and I get obsessed. Like, well, I mean, look at big media company. Look yeah. at the Daily Talk Show. It's all based off getting the uh, the usernames. Yeah. Well, Matt Matt Diavella's actual channel name is it changed? Yeah. If you click videos, if I click on videos, so because the way that YouTube used to work is you would get a username. And they don't do usernames anymore. You have your channel, sorry, the channel vanity URL, yeah. and then you can have your name, which you can update and change. Mm. So Google have gone through that many different versions because they mm. used to have Google Plus, which they're now shutting down. Like that was just mm. an abomination of <laughs> social media. I used to use it. Do you reckon anyone actually got famous on Google? Well, it's funny because there's all at the beginning of any new. Uh, you know, website or social network, mm. there's all these people trying to like create a following. Well, first to platform, first to... Yeah, but it was very... It didn't go beyond, I don't think, sort of the tech journalist sort yeah. of space, but there was meant to be a whole push with Google Plus to be this whole social um, search engine type stuff. So yeah. if I typed in something, if you had liked or if you'd plussed one their website, mm. it would appear higher... Uh, so all of a sudden your search would be based on all of what your friends yeah. like as well. Classic big business try, trying an idea, yeah. spending so much money on it and it didn't work. But the thing is that they've had, because YouTube's been around for so long, there's mm. been all these legacy things. So for instance, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Josh Jansen TV is my username, yeah. but I have youtube.com forward slash Josh Jansen is my channel URL. And you're in a pickle because you can't change the you can't original. Change, you can never change your username. So yeah. I had to select between. I had J A u, username JAN0004, which was my school ID. I thought that was pretty legit. JAN004? Yeah. And, and so you chose... Well, so I ended up choosing another YouTube, one of my other YouTube accounts. Okay. That, um, because Josh Jansen, the username was taken. Mm. Anyway. Well, what, I've, what I thought was interesting from Matt is he's built this nearly million subscriber base mm. on a channel that has a, what I think, probably for him, a less than desirable name for what he's now doing. It's an old business that he had mm. called Black Box Film Company. Which, I mean, no one's going to be searching that. Mm-hmm. He's, he, he's the person on the channel, so it's his brand. I but hope YouTube just works out a way of getting rid of usernames. It, it, it makes no sense that they just can't change it. Mm. But, it's, yeah, it's interesting. But do you th- have you ever sold a website, a, like anything on like digital? Never, never. I, if there's anyone that has, it's you. And have you? Or haven't you? Because if you haven't, it nah. gives me no yeah. I've started, confidence. I've, I've started just um, letting domain L- names expire. Letting them lapse. I did tell you that guy that used to come to the gym, he um, owns uh, domainnames.com.au, mm-hmm. which is a pretty big domain. It's worth a lot of money. But yeah. he was a guy that was selling them. Mm-hmm. And do you know anyone who's actually made bank Sold. from selling Selling them? Uh, I had an internet friend who sold like a website for a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Jeez. He was, um, he created this uh, website called threewords.me mm. um, and it was basically describe, like you could set up a profile and then send people mm. to it and say, hey, how would you describe me in three words? So you would end up with this tag cloud of how mm. people des- describe and he, yeah, he sold it for, like he would have been like 20. Is it still around? I don't know if it, it is. 3 T H R E E. Yeah. Three, Three words, words dot, dot me. Dot me. <laughs> Bad investment if someone. If nah, it's see. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Three words dot me. Try with the. Someone owns it. The number three. Can you. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Three words dot me. 
It's a nice domain if you can get that. Not secure. Uh, no. Chances are it's taking me to a Facebook, Facebook cover. covers generator classic. Inter- interesting. I um, uh, decided to give Final Cut Pro another go. We're going techie on this show. Yeah, that's okay. Which, uh, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll be good for some, not for others. Yeah. But um, <laughs> uh, Premiere Pro mm. has been my main editing software for the last. Uh, since 2012, 2012, 2012, Yeah, which was exactly the time that I started using Final Cut Pro, yeah. 2012. And so I downloaded it because I started on Premiere back in 05, then switched to Final Cut in mm. 06, 07, was using Final Cut Pro for all of from 07 until around that 2012, 2012. mark. Yeah. We're talking video editing software. Mm. and But I bought... Final Cut Pro in 2011 on the App Store. That's good. And so I went on the App Store and it was hidden. I couldn't see it anywhere. I couldn't see my, you know how you've got previous purchases. Mm -hmm. Couldn't see it there. And so I was like, couldn't work out what to do. I was like, I'm going to call Apple. Can you call Apple? I didn't think you could. You can call Apple. I was like, surely, I'm like, how the fuck does anyone do anything if you can't call Apple? I'm like, well, I actually haven't searched as if I can call Apple. Well, that's the default. I think you can't get in contact with Twitter, Instagram, none of like Facebook. You can't call someone. Yeah, I called Apple. And you (laughs) What did they say? Tim Cook wasn't around. No, but the, uh, first of all, the, their next level in regards to waiting music. What do you mean? What kind of music? One of the first questions they ask you is, um, you know, um, you can choose your hold music. For pop music, press one. No. For jazz, press two. For classical, press three. Or if you'd prefer to listen in silence or like wait in silence, press four. That's, that's top quality. Yeah. So I just fucking pressed one. It's the biggest hack. You don't need an Apple Music account. <laughs> you just need to go on... Call up Apple. Ask really confusing questions. Just keep getting transferred to different departments. Yeah. Oh, look, I was meant to be transferred to sales. Can you transfer me back to tech support? It would sound a little bit tinny. But anyway, so I got <laughs> through to a guy. Yeah. And um, I found, I managed to find the old um, receipt because I got it like a really good price when they first started. It's worth over s- nearly 500 bucks now. Yeah, nearly 600 bucks now. I bought it for 280 Yeah. What did okay. you get it for? Uh, good question. I don't know. Which the, what they've done is it's like... Uh, a lot of these subscriptions, they're honouring the first purchase. Which is crazy. Price. Which makes no sense. As a bit. Like this is why <laughs> companies are moving to subscription Subscri- yeah. models. No, I think it's good. This is one of the things I love about that. But like Apple. I bought I bought that software 2011. So how long? Mm. That's mm. Five, eight years yeah, ago. It's a long time ago. It's going to say five. I'm still eight, living in the past. Eight years ago and I downloaded it and got the latest version. So apparently they said that I'd clicked hide. Oh. On the purchase. So say if you download something, you're like, don't yeah. want everyone to see Dude, that I purchased When you do that. shit like that, it gives me no confidence in myself when it comes to tech. Like I'm worried. Yeah. That makes me worry that you've hidden something and can't work that out when you were so across. Well, like, I was like Googling everywhere oh, exactly. to try and work it out. Yeah. That's do what you, I mean. You, you're great with tech. <laughs> Imagine my poor mother. <laughs> one, I want to call out an ISP, IINet. What is an ISP? Internet service provider. IINet. I'll call out Dodo. Really? Are we doing call outs? Uh, I'd prefer to double down on one. Double okay, down? Okay. <laughs> doubling down? What did we decide it was? It's doubling down. Yeah, yeah doubling yeah, down. Yeah. We got the nod from Mr. 97. No, IINet, right? So I used one of their products called BizPhone. So this was like two years ago. I was like, you know mm. what? JJ's business is going well. I'm going to get a dedicated phone. Yes. This big fuck off thing. It's huge. Landline. You've gone it's landline. Mr. 97, can you just get the box with <laughs> the... And so I actually, like this is how, like it was a very dumb thing because I spent an extra $20 a month or whatever to get the bigger hardware, okay. which I thought I was going to be able to customise. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this he's is nearly, it. He's nearly dropped um, it. So this here... It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's what my dad used to have in it, his office. It's a bit dusty now. Yeah. But, Hello? Uh, Hello? So that, that's sort of the, the style. But th- do you know the main reason why it's fucked? 
This is so. We're looking at the cable right now. This is which why is you, yeah, this is the cord. This is why you, I remember as a kid having one of these phones on the wall. Not even as good as that. Just a standard one. And God, it was just pulling the fucking thing. Yeah, trying to get that cord right. It's a nightmare. But the um, the main reason I got this one was yeah. because I thought that I could load up my company logo to the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd look super legit. Yes. And it couldn't even do it couldn't do it. <laughs> and so I got that. So we just put that on the couch. But anyway, so how about this? So uh, I tried closing it down. Uh, so my uh, I'd finished up my contract, contacted them, and they said I hadn't been using it for six months, but I'd just been paying it. Yeah. Long story short, called up in December. And they're like, oh, you need to give 30 days notice. Mm. And so you're going to have to pay for this month and for next month and all that sort of thing. But they also said, you're going to have to return the phone. Yeah. And how, how the hell do you, where the hell are I was they? Like, so how does that work? I'm like, do you need a box or whatever? It's like, no, they'll just come pick it up. I'm like, okay. So I'll, I'll wait for that. Yeah. Anyway, the 25th of January, I get a bill from them for $110. But I'm like, I'm, which is fine. That's like the last two months. It was like 50 bucks a month, whatever. And so I was like, I'm just going to wait and see. They need to collect the hardware. Then I get, I, t- I spoke to you about mm. this on Thursday. I get this email from, what is it? What are they called? Debt collector. Yeah, debt collectors. I got the fucking debt collectors after me. <laughs> a week and a half after not paying this bill. Yeah. It, there is something that your heart sinks when you see that you've got a debt collector after you. I had, the, I had a similar case with Momentum Energy. I all of a sudden got this debt collectors thing, but I just missed a bill. And I, and I called them like seriously offended, like what you've passed, you couldn't just call me? Yeah, you that's what I couldn't go, understand. Bro, your bill's so not the, paid. So the annoying part about it was I tried to log in to pay and they'd gotten rid of my account. Yeah, user error. Oh no, but company error. So my frustration is I, I net, try to give, give them a call over the weekend. Yeah. Just no idea. Like it was just on hold for an hour and a half. And Ended up, I was like, I wonder how long is the longest time Someone has been on hold because a part of me was like <laughs> going to leave my phone there, put it in charge, and just yeah. for a bit of gear, leave it overnight because I reckon they'd forgotten about me. Yeah. I reckon I could have left it there and it would have said yeah. fifteen hours. It's <laughs> this is adding to the list of reasons why you shouldn't have a child because of uh, Centrelink, like the hold time. It's just it's the phone game. It's so annoying. Yeah. It is so annoying. So okay. you, what are you going to do with this stuff? Oh, no, well, so it's fine. Are you going to send them this grab? Well, so I just, no, I paid the, the thing was, you know, um, I think it's called Trust Pilot. It's like a website where people review. And oh, you went there? I went on there. I didn't leave a review because I didn't have to. There was just so many ah. people just leaving uh, negative reviews. Yeah. So the, the, tr- the people have spoken. Yeah. It's a shit, and it's so a the thing is, shit, it's a shit company. They're shit operators. Yeah. So I would never, never, ever, ever, ever go with them. Um, there was something I... Thought about telling you off the podcast. Here we go. And I was, it's more to ask you. I don't have to tell you something. I'm mm-hmm. asking you something. But I was thinking based on last week's interactions mm-hmm. and based on your pushback with psychologists, mm-hmm. which on Friday, Gemma mm-hmm. Watts, we had on the show and mm-hmm. you were talking and coming up with a bunch of reasons why mm-hmm. you won't go to a psychologist. Mm-hmm. Psycho- not psychiatrist. Yeah, psychologist. You don't yeah. need to be medicated. Uh-huh. But I was thinking... For our show, why don't mm. we do couples therapy? Would be good. Like be legit go to a counsellor. It's probably outside of their wheelhouse. They've probably never had a podcast duo, business part- maybe business partnerships. Yeah, I wonder if they do do uh, – I guess you've got the – what are the mediators or whatever? Conspiracy Jimmy is just in the fucking <laughs> sidelines <laughs> acting like an absolute He looked like the T-1000 from um, – No, Terminator. I like the idea. So we, we go and as much as it's a bit of, a bit of content for the show, mm-hmm. it's actually a legitimate self-development tool. It's a very good 101 radio bit of gear. Of course. Fifi and Jules – did they do it? They would do it. They no were saving that duo. No they, <laughs> <laughs> no, they went to London. Yeah. So when they were in London, they're like, no one knows us here. So they could go as a couple uh, and okay. do the whole thing and we could secretly record it and it was... But uh, here's the thing, right? I, I reckon... So there's the radio elements, the secretive. It's, yeah. I reckon it's actually interesting just to do it as here's what this is. Business partnership, podcast duo that does five days a week of talking and interacting with on a business level, on a personal level. There's a lot of merit to it. Mm-hmm. Have you seen these YouTubers now for everything? 
Is it? And there's yeah. what do you mean? Well, just like there's a psychologist who's a YouTuber. Ah, okay, and I yeah. saw is it the Shane Dawson? Is that the guy or the Sean thing? Dawson? Who's the guy that did the Doco YouTube Doco series? I don't know YouTube Doco series on Logan Paul being a psychopath or the other one. What's the other oh, Paul's name? Oh, that um, the the big YouTuber. Uh, Logan Dawson. Paul. Logan Dawson. No, I'm just writing that to see if it sort of comes up. No, what's what's Dobrik Paul. It's not going to come up. No, no, no. So there's a guy well, who did this like five part series. Do you know it, Mister Ninety Seven? I don't know. No. So what happened? There was so f- no. So he had a. Um, it was trying to work out whether what's Logan Paul's brother's name? Uh, Jake. Jake. Whether Jake Paul was is a, a no, psychopath? Yeah, psychopath. Yeah, I did. Shane see this. Dawson. Shane Dawson. Yeah. He's Secret got like series. ten million subs or something. Yeah, but he's. Um, he had like this u- psychologist who's a YouTuber and I've seen her pop up everywhere every time a YouTuber has a problem. Yeah. But she seems like the YouTuber's psychologist. <laughs> which does that discredit her as a psychologist? For instance, Dr. Oz. Yeah. Dr. Phil. There's judge, a lot of rah-rah judge Judy? thrown is in. Is Judge Judy a good judge or is she a great actor? She, she's both. I mean, not uh, a great judge. Here's the thing. It's like, what is a great judge? I mean, I think that if you're a psychologist that is on YouTube, you're probably not putting the client first. You're also putting your personal brand on an outward yeah. level. I think Dr. Jordan Peterson, who is a psychologist, actually has a clinic, mm-hmm. but he's not sharing his uh, sessions with clients. Mm-hmm. So there's a clear difference between the two, mm-hmm. which I think he's like an academic and a, and a really smart dude. Bondi vet. Is the Bondi vet, is he discredited based on the fact that he hosts yeah. Am I Celebrity Get who, Me Out of who Here? Who would I trust over Kim Lamb, who we had last week on the show, mm-hmm. a vet, or Bondi Chris? I'd go I'd Kim. Go, I'd go Kim. I'd go Absolutely. Kim. He's Bondi vet, mate, your hands are too big to get inside my chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. You're not going to be able to operate on that, mate. Well, he... You, <laughs> I once interviewed Dr. Chris Brown... Who's he, the other one? He looks like the dude, the mannequin that was the character from the Bonds, Bonds um, clothing. Mm. He looks like that guy. He's very chiselled. Oh, he's what about celebrity chefs? Is Manu a good chef compared to another chef? This, see, here's the thing. They're, these are just the ones we know. There are so many chefs and psychologists that are probably better than all of these, but don't yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Because essentially they're entertainers. Yeah. So they've got a high level of entertainment value in what they do. So I, I think it is. What's your, what's your actual on the psychology on, thing? on going to confronting the fact that you've never been to a psychologist? I think if we can make it more than gear, if it could be no, like that's seri- what I mean. I don't think like it needs. I'm, I don't want to do it as gear. Yeah. I think gear is just silly and like a radio show. Yeah. Let's pretend we're a gay couple. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do no. I think it's legit understanding and getting our heads around the the partnership thing. Great. No, I, I think that sounds. You good. good? Oh, yeah. he's nervous. No, it sounds great. I'm nervous with the, what you just did with the let's pretend to be a gay couple. No, thing. but I can imagine that's what the latest radio show would do. Mm. Did you hear about this uh, radio host, I think it was in Cairns, who got given the flick? No, who? You probably, probably know them. Well, no, you're probably not across it because you don't read radio today that regularly. Yeah, what happened? I don't actually know that much about it, but he, <laughs> had, a, he had a cup, he basically had um, ScoMo on yeah. the show. And they took a photo of ScoMo and the two co-hosts and the presenter mm. was holding a cup. You know, the one that says UNT and then the C is the oh, handle. Classic. And so he was holding it with the photo of our, the Prime Minister of Australia. That's and great. And he was meant to be getting a new radio gig and it was his last week and apparently his employer has decided it's to ceased. not. Yeah. Ceased employment. Don't you think it's bullshit? That's fact. I mean, there are probably other elements to it, but I do love talking about shit I don't really know the no, full but details. No, I got the whole gist of that. I yeah. don't even need to read that. Well, maybe we should get him on the, the podcast. Yeah, well, he's got to be a spare time. Yeah, absolutely. It's funny. I might know him if it's in Cairns. Did you ever get nearly fi- – what was the closest thing? Was it the police thing that you nearly got fired for? No, nah, I, never, I never actually was going to get fired. I, maybe, but I, I think that if you're in a workplace where – you all like you've got to know like 
or you've got to step so far out of line to just get fired these days. Like, mm-hmm. it's hard to fire people. I remember being in Shepparton and wondering, like, could I get fired based on, like, what I'm doing or, mm-hmm. like, you know, it's like the six-month probation period. People just fucking living on edge up until the six-month period. Mm-hmm. It's like in the best interest of the employee and the employer for the six-month period because that means you can just piss off yeah. without really giving much notice. I couldn't find out the guy's but name. The d- hi at the daily talk show.com if you have any If you're watching because you've got downtime yeah, and you exactly. want to flex your radio skills again. Mm-hmm. But it, it's... I think there's a bigger problem going on if you're thinking, am I going to get fired? Yeah, that's what you want to take off the table. Yes. Can't you be, can't you do funny shit? Like is it, is the prime minister, like what sort of respect do you need to, mm. extra respect do you need to show it, yeah, to someone? It's a in, bit low level gag. The, the cunt. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it's still like, is it worth getting, fu- like is it... Um, is it? Is it? Uh, it's not even. Is it worth? It, has the employer gone too far? Have they got know. rights to fire? You? I don't know. It has. To, it sounds like he's. But doing I think if they else. do have rights to fire you, it's probably not a good job. He's to probably be. sleeping with all the people in promotions as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm well. speaking speaking out of school, but you never know. Street team. He was dating two of them at once. Was that happening no, in well, Shepparton? No, 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 no. Because it was about one person on the street team. They were married. <laughs> but in the bigger markets, mm-hmm. you could totally see that happening. Mm. <laughs> That's a daily anyway, talk show. Anyway, glad we got that out. Hi, yeah. thedailytalkshow.com if you want to send us an email. Or, if, or if you want to buy Matt D. Vella's um, podcast Instagram, Instagram handle, <laughs> The Ground Up Show. It's going for 260 Jerome. And tomorrow, Peter Shepard on the show. Yeah. Human I, I was, Periscope. <laughs> I'm actually looking at the framing of this shot. Just wondering what he's going to look like. Well, Peter is... He's Pete's like seven s- foot. <laughs> no, yeah, he's six, six, seven. Six, seven. But he's a big man, so his stature, we might have to... But where does he hold it all? Maybe it's all on his legs. Maybe. Maybe his legs come up to here. Imagine if he had a real short torso, he looks smaller than us. (laughs) That'd be funny. (laughs) That would be really funny. No, but I reckon he'll be towering above us. Mm. So I'm getting my... um, Core strength. I'm getting my uh, back up right and ready to show him him up. It's a daily talk show. (laughs) Have a good one, guys. See you, guys.